In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom Google Map to your WordPress website. A custom Google Map is basically a Google Map, but you can add your own pins to it. You can draw a polygon, you can add a heat map. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with it, basically. Let me uh, quickly put it on the screen. That's an example map that I create in this video. It's got a couple of pins on it and it's got a polygon on it. So let's take a look. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well, thanks for watching. So as I said in this video, we're gonna be adding a custom Google Map to a WordPress website. This is a handy thing to do if you need to show off your stores or your office location or all sorts of things really, maybe where you've been on holiday. If you need a map, then a Google Map is probably a good place to start. And this plugin makes it really easy to create that Google Map and add it to your site. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using a free plugin but you can upgrade this plugin to a premium version if you like, and the premium version has loads more features. However, the free version kind of does the job if you're just after a simple uh, map with a few pins, that kind of thing. So I think that's enough chit chat from me. Let me get on the computer and show you how to set it up. Let's go. The plugin we're gonna be using today is called WP Google Maps. As I said, it's available for free over on wordpress.org. I'm gonna install it using the plugin installer which is in the dashboard of my website. The website I'm gonna be using today for this demo is just test.wpeagle.com, which is just a, a test site that I've got set up with WordPress installed to create videos just like this. So uh, let's install the plugin. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to plugins and add new. Then up in the search box, I'm gonna type in WP Google Maps. And then click Install. Now this site is running the Kingdom theme, but uh, this plugin will work with any theme that you happen to be running on your WordPress site. Okay, that's installed, let's click Activate. And the plugin is activated. If we scroll down, we can see it's there, ready to go. So I'm gonna click on Settings. Now the first thing we need to do is create an API key over at Google. So to do that, we click on this link. Now I've already got one probably because I've used this plugin before, but let me see if I can create another one. So I've uh, just got a little wizard. So we need to create a project or use an existing one. Let's create a new project, continue. You'll probably create a new product because, um, sorry, a new project because you probably haven't already got one. Now the API should be free to use, um, so don't worry about having to pay for it. Okay, let's call this um, test site API key. Just give it a name that's um, you know suitable. So we don't want any restrictions on the key. Let's just click create. And here is my API key. So I can copy that to my clipboard by clicking on this little thing here. I will probably blur this key out. Stop you guys from using it. <laughs> but yeah, I've copied that to my clipboard. So I can go back now to the uh, plugin and click, uh, click, <laughs> even paste. I did a command V there, control V. Obviously you can right click and select paste if you prefer. And click save. So now we should be good to go. So we've got some settings in here that we can play around with if you need to. I'm not gonna bother because it's fine as it is. I'm just gonna create a map. So we've got this new section down the left hand side here called maps, I'm gonna go into maps. And I'm gonna skip intro and create a map. So there's one already here that we can edit, uh, which we might as well. Because with the free version, you can only create one map. So if you need multiple maps, you're gonna to need to upgrade to the pro version. 
Uh, but generally one map's enough. Although I have just done a project where I need multiple maps and I did upgrade to the pro version. And it was fine, it's not a huge amount of money. How much is it? Let's have a quick look. Uh, 39.99 as a once off or one off probably. <laughs> So anyway, let's create a map. So let's call it WP Eagle Map. And here we can set our width and height. You can obviously adjust this depending on where the map is gonna sit on a page. So sometimes it's better just to put the map in and have a look how it looks and then come back in and adjust this. You can adjust the zoom level. So if you wanna just be like the whole world or zoom into a particular country, that's fine. There is a marker on here already, which is over in California. We can remove that down here, click the little X. And let's add our own one. So let's add one for London. I can just type in a uh, city like that. You can have a little animation, a little bounce, and click add marker. There we go, oh, look at the bouncing, that's good. Let's add a couple more, where else should we add Paris? This time we'll have a drop, shall we? There we go. So, I hear some other cool features by the way, which you get with Pro, so you can add some like custom stuff and have different icons, that sort of thing. Let's click Save Map. So now if we want to edit any of these markers, say London, we can come down here and click on the little pencil thing, edit icon. <laughs> and then it's back up here and we can adjust the name and stuff like that. So advanced markers, they are in the pro version, they allow you to have different images and add a bit more um, information to the marker. So it's obviously gonna depend on your requirements, whether you want to go for the, um, the pro version. If you'd like me to do a video on the pro version, that's fine. I do have a copy of it. So if you'd like one, then just leave a comment below this video. And if I get enough people saying that you'd like to see the pro version, I'll do a quick video on it. Hey, I might even do one anyway. We'll see how it pans out. Uh, you've got some polygon. Let's add a polygon see what that is. So I clicked add a new polygon. Name, let's just call it Eagle uh, Polygon. Uh, so let's click on the map. And there, and there, and there. So we can, you know, highlight a whole area. Maybe drag that out like that. Yeah, we can change the color. So this might be good if, you know, you want to have a kind of area covered sort of map for a company that's kind of thing. Let's save that polygon. So now we've got a map with some things and a polygon on it. We can add a heat map too. Uh, no, we can't, that's in the pro version. <laughs> Never mind. Let's have a look along here. We've got some different themes. So you, you know you can have a red or different colors, whatever you like. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can have directions, uh, which again is available in the pro version. So that allows people just to kind of put in their address and then click get directions and you'll get a Google map directions. Store locator is handy if you've got shops. Um, you turn that on and then um, it gives you a store locator. In the advanced settings, you can add a bicycle layer, traffic layer, public transport layer, all sorts of stuff. And then there's some even uh, more advanced settings for the pro version. Uh, marking listing options, so you can have a little table below your map. Again, that's a pro version only uh, feature. So as it comes, the free version is pretty basic, but if you just wanna have a map on your site with some markers, you know, maybe to show off your um, locations, whatever you need, then it's probably gonna be fine. If you need anything a little bit more advanced, then you're gonna have to pay 39 99 for the pro version. Anyway, now we should add this map to a page. So if you just click up here, it'll kind of copy the short code into your clipboard for you automatically. I'll go back to my site. I've already got a page created, uh, it's called Google Map. Here it is, it's just a blank page that I created just before I recorded this video. So if we edit this page, and then I can just paste that short code into the content area. 
And of course you can paste a short code wherever you like, really. It doesn't necessarily have to be on a page, it could be in a post, it could maybe even be in a widget. And then if we have a look at the page, Wow, there's our excellent map with its polygon and its bouncing markers. So there we go, we're all done. I hope you found that useful and you've now got a Google map up and running on your website. As I said, I may do a pro version video uh, soon, especially if you guys request it. Uh, if you'd like to see that, please leave a comment below, let me know, and uh, I'll try my best to make that video as soon as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, uh, I'd love to have you as a member of the WP Eagle community. To subscribe, uh, you can click on the eagle there. Uh, make sure you click the bell to be notified when I do upload a new video. Uh, here's a video um, that's been chosen especially for you. And if you want to watch even more things uh, by me, then do check out my other channels. There's Alex Cooper, which is my vlogging channel. And there's iOS Alex, which is my gaming channel. Until next time, bye for now.